Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just want to kind of um, let you know how my first day went on my pre-op liquid diet. So I thankfully, thank the Lord, only have to do uh, four days of the pre-op liquid diet. And today, I am not going to lie, was rough. Um, <laughs> the day started off, I made cream of wheat and I made them enough so that I could have for breakfast and lunch. And then I also make um, my my um, passion tea lemonade, which I'm, oh, this is all wrong. I'm obsessed with this drink from Starbucks, but um, at Starbucks, like this big size, the venti size is like 120 calories and like 30 gram 32 grams of carbs and 32 grams of sugar which that's kind of like one in the same i'm obsessed with the way that it tastes but i wanted to try to find a healthier alternative so that i can continue drinking that while i'm on my liquid diet um so what i ended up doing is i bought the tazo iced passion which this is how they make it at starbucks they use uh this um passion tea so though I don't know if they boil it I would imagine that Starbucks would use something like this because it just makes more sense so this one is specifically made for you know to kind of just add water and ice and enjoy as it is like as an ice beverage otherwise what you could do is um, boil the tea bags and um, cool it off like in the refrigerator overnight and then to get the lemonade um, and of course you got to sweeten it and then I like getting my drink with the uh, extra raspberry syrup added to it which that adds even more sugar who knows how much that is so what I ended up buying is the crystal light pure I don't know what the lights if you could even see this but the crystal light pure raspberry lemonade and for this big size I do use the whole entire pack this is like as big as my head um, I use the whole thing so total for this for this big drink is probably about 50 50 calories and then the carbs five 11 11 carbs which I mean I know it's not the best thing but um, you know it is crystal light and it says that I can have crystal light so I'm just gonna keep drinking this oh it's so good that's kind of been a lifesaver for me for the past couple days um, even though I haven't been doing the liquid diet I've been drinking a lot more liquids um, to prepare myself for the liquid diet so yes yeah, so I had the cream of wheat for breakfast I've been drinking this passion tea lemonade all day um, so I had my first round of cream of wheat around 7.30, then I kind of got hungry around 10.30-ish. I ate a little bit more, and then at noon, lunchtime, or whatever, I had just a tiny little bit left, so I ate that. Um, around 2 o'clock, I was kind of hungry, so I went and got Italian wedding soup, but I just drank the broth from it. I didn't um, eat anything from it. Um, so that was, you know, it was good. And that was around two o'clock. Then I came home. I was so tired. Like, does anybody else get really tired when you're just drinking like these liquids? Like I was really tired. I came home and I took a nap and then I, um, I ended up eating a jello and that was kind of like my dinner and, um, some water and then I had the bright idea that I was going to go to CVS to buy a mascara. Why? I don't know. I don't, I have, I, I have a whole drawer full of like 20 different mascaras. Why I wanted to go get mascara today of all days, I have no idea. But as I was on my way to Walgreens, I got pulled over by the cops and in March, apparently my um, registration expired. Totally forgot, had no freaking idea. I thought I handled the whole thing clearly I did not so I got a ticket for that and then I didn't have my newest um, insurance card in my car because um, I just got a new one for right now for July that's a 300 and some dollar ticket for not having the insurance card and expired registration is like I think it's like $130 so 
Needless to say, this whole shitty day of doing this liquid diet got even worse when I got pulled over by the cops. It was, I'm more mad at myself than anything, but you know, sometimes they be pulling people over for dumb shit anyway. Like really, I'm not hurting anybody. My insurance is good. I, I was going from right around the corner to Walgreens. They, you know, I, but I'm more mad at myself than anything. I'm more mad at myself, especially today of all days when I was just like, feeling really crappy, being on all these liquids, knowing that Monday in four days, you know, well, yeah, in four days I will be getting surgery and now I have to go to court. And I mean, the officer, like towards the end, he was really nice and he was like, listen, with the one with the insurance, I believe that you have insurance. Um, he's like, just go to, go to court and plead not guilty and you know fight that one he's like and I'll remove it like I won't fight back against you pretty much is what he was saying so that one should get eliminated by me showing proof that I have had insurance since the last one expired which I have that already printed out and I already went through and redid my registration so I'm definitely gonna have to pay that one because that was like total like mess up on my part um so yeah it's been a pretty shitty day so it is like 9 30 i've i just want to go to sleep i'm tired and i'm not looking forward to tomorrow because in the office today it was somebody's birthday so they had sweet treats you know that's not good and tomorrow um we're having another birthday so there's gonna be more treats and People just don't understand that I cannot eat and then they think like, I just don't want to participate and that's totally not the case, but it's just, I need to keep myself away from it or I'm going to, I'm going to eat it. <laughs> so anyway, that's where I stand. That's, that's how things are going right now. And, um, yeah, so I will update tomorrow and let you know how I feel after day two on my pre-op liquid diet. Yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.